So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what is a Kappamon and how is it gonna help you. So basically, a Kappamon is a little pet that lives in your live stream and it helps you by greeting newcomers to your channel and showing appreciation on your behalf. Let's say for example, you're in the middle of your mix and you're not noticing what's going on in your chat and somebody's saying hi to you. The first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna step in and wave at that person, say hi to them and put their name on the screen. Or let's say another scenario, somebody were to subscribe to your channel or tip you. It's gonna start dancing around, celebrating, and it's gonna say thank you to that person. So it's an extra aesthetic to make it a little bit more interactive, and it's also something for your audience to get to play with. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you where you can get it and how you can set it up. And it's very quick and easy, so this really won't even be a long video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about DJing, live streaming, or creating content. And let's just jump right in. DJ Beneficial, what? All right, let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is go to your search engine and type in Kappamon, K-A-P-P-A-M-O-N, and hit that top result. Then you're gonna sign in with your Twitch account. Now the first time you do it, you have to authorize it. Once you get in, it'll look like this. Just go ahead and skip the message. And it should synchronize all of your information from your Twitch account. Now the first thing we're gonna do is head over to Marketplace. And this is the list of all available Kappamon. And as you can see, there's six pages. Some of them have these gold coins next to it. And to get the gold coins, you click on this orange tab right here in the top right. And basically you exchange money for credits that you can use to purchase Kappamon. But they actually have quite a few free ones. As you can see, this gingerbread man right here is free. So you can pick that one. If you wanna add it to your collection, just click on this tab right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip over here to page three and show you this guy right here, which is the one that I use. And as you can see, the Kappa bot is free. So you can pick its default activity. Usually it comes idle, but I like to leave mine dancing. So it just looks like he's always partying to my music. And if you click on mutations, you can even pick different colors. So there's a couple different ways you can customize it. And as you can see, extra animations is grayed out, but some of these characters do have extra animations. As you can see over here on the bunny, if you click on it, it has a couple extra activities it can do, and that just takes a couple extra credits. So once you've gone through all the pages and you've added all the free ones to your account, go ahead and head over to your collection. So you can see they're all right here. Now only one Kappamon can be active at a time. So pick the one that you wanna use and pick its default activity. So I'm gonna leave mine dancing. Now let's head over to option. So these are just some basic tweaks you can do to your character. You can make it face left or right. You can either show or not show the commands. You can connect your Spotify account, which I believe it will announce the song that's playing. Since I'm a DJ, I don't need to use the Spotify since I'm the one playing the music. You can also pick the animation speed if you want it to slow down or go fast. You can even pick the actual value. There's also a blacklist if you want to ban somebody from being able to use the Kappamon. And you can even change the background color, border color, and font color of the speech bubble. Now let's head over to command. And this is where you can actually customize your commands. So let's say, for example, if somebody comes into your chat, it'll say hello to that person. But you can actually edit it, have it say what's up instead. You can even have a second or a third message if you wanted to alternate what it says when it greets people. And right here under image, you can actually have an image pop up. So let's go ahead and try that one out. Go ahead and open up another tab and type in Giphy. So go ahead and click on the top result here and Giphy is just basically a place where they have a bunch of GIFs. So let's just search Giphy for hello GIFs. So just for an example, we'll use this Mrs. Doubtfire one. Go ahead and right click on it copy image address. We'll go back over here and we'll paste it in right there. And you can actually tweak it even further. So if you wanted it to be sad when it greets somebody, you could do that. You could pick any of the animations that you like and it'll do that instead of waving at them. Over here under user group, you can actually specify who can and cannot be triggered. So let's say you wanted to only say hi to the mods, to the subs, or to the channel owner. I like to leave it at everyone. I like everyone to be greeted when they come into my channel. And over here, you can change the duration. If you wanted to wave at the person it's greeting for more than five seconds, you can change that. And over here under cooldown, it'll usually wait a second before it greets the next person. You can make that a little bit longer if you want. And once you have everything the way you like it, go ahead and click save. So now you can see my greeting has been altered and all this extra information is in here. Now over here on Kappa World, this is basically just their newsletter if you wanna be up to date on what improvements and changes they're making. But let's head over to profile. Now over here on your profile tab, I wanna show you a couple of things on the right side of the screen, starting at the bottom, show commands to public URL. Go ahead and click show, and this will give you a link that you can copy and paste into your Twitch chat 
that will give a list of commands to your audience that will let them have the ability to control your Capamon. Now over here under referral URL, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link and paste it in the description of today's video. If you decide you wanna use that, basically they'll kick me down with some coins that I can use to either get some upgrades or some premium Capamons for myself. And everybody that has an account automatically has this affiliate link. So you can send this to your friends if you wanna put them on with this as well. And if you actually click on referral over here, as you see, I don't have any yet, but this will actually give you the list of everybody who's used your referral link. Now over here, stream URL dimension 650 by 400. So 650 by 400 is the dimensions that your browser source needs to be at in OBS. And I'll show you how to set that up in a moment. I wanna show you this over here, the orange tab that says unlock another Kappa mod. So if you click on that, you can either use the Kappa points from your referrals or you can use the actual coins that you purchase to be able to unlock an additional Kappa mod. So you can actually have more than one at a time. And if you click on show right here, this gives you your link that you're gonna copy and paste as a browser source in OBS. So let's head over to OBS now so I can show you how to set it up. Now over here in OBS, setting up your Kappa mod is very easy. Under sources, just click the plus and we're gonna add a browser. And let's rename this Kappa mod. And when this window pops up, go ahead and change the URL and paste the one that you got from the Kapamon website. And width will be 650, height will be 400. And down here at the bottom, I like to check these two boxes. Basically just shuts it down when you're not using it. And go ahead and click OK. And it just takes a moment to process and then it will appear. And there it is. So just go ahead and put this wherever you want it to be in your stream. And you can even make it bigger or smaller if you want, just drag the box. And once you have it where you like, go ahead and lock it in. And just to give it a little test here, I'm gonna go into my Twitch chat and just type something. And as you can see, it's over there saying hi to me. And this is just one example of some of the many things that this thing will do. So it's a pretty quick and easy setup and you really can't beat that price with all those free options available. If anything, I would just play around with the settings and try out some of the commands so that way you can see what it's all capable of. But you know, in addition to being a talented DJ or entertainer or whatever it is that your channel's about, it's good to have these extra aesthetics. That way it makes it a little bit more entertaining for your audience, which is gonna bring up the engagement and ultimately help your channel grow. So I hope that today's video is gonna help you accomplish that. If you like the content today, be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't done so already. And if you wanna come follow me on Twitch, I'll put my information right here on the screen and I'll even put the link in the description below as well. Other than that, I just wanna say thank you for coming by today and I'll catch up with you again on the next video. Peace.